The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Thank you, Alicia, and welcome everybody to SmackDown here in Springfield, Illinois. As Alicia told us, we are starting out with the United States title match. Similarly to on Raw, we started out with the Intercontinental title match. Pete Dunne was able to retain. Can the champion retain here tonight? That is a question, but it's an interesting little parallel that I don't know if it was necessarily planned or anything. Between the two general managers, I guess not. It's kind of ended up how it's been. And you know what? I'm not complaining. It gives that little... You know, the, the, between the two champions or whoever the future champions are. Because currently it's this match. Pete Dunne versus Ilya Dragunov, one-on-one. -on -one. We saw Pete Dunne successfully beat Humberto. And we've done the same here tonight with uh, Ilya from Retain, is what I mean. And the champion Retain, the same the same. But Ilya's going to get through this man. Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style. Definitely a tough one, and Ilya knew that when he took him on at fast lane, and he felt that. And clearly, Nakamura just wanted to kind of test Dragonov, see what he's like in the ring, and now maybe he's looking to finally put that knowledge to use. I guess I say finally; it's only been two weeks, uh, but he did attack him last week before asking for the match. You know, I suppose he uh, it's something. I guess I don't know. Asking is better than just demanding. Oh, he kind of did demand. I don't think he said please, actually, now thinking about it. Though I'm not surprised. It'd be a bit, you know, contradictory if, if say, I just, like, he just go to, like, Kinshasa him in the face a few times and went, please, sir, may I have another title shot? You know what I mean? It'd be kind of contradictory, so, you know. But where's Shinsuke Nakamura? Man has gone. That's what I want to know. Absolute disrespect. I'm disrespecting this man. Nos a good idea that is for sure there's a reason why he's called the mad dragon and trying to piss off a guy called the mad dragon doesn't sound like the best idea to me but uh, you know I'm, I'm no I'm no wrestler maybe he can find out a way to you know if he becomes so mad he can just make mistakes and you can capitalize on them there's some people like that is there a dragon off one of them I don't know but you know, Dragon has been for a loss this season. Defending title feels like nearly week after week. It's I know it's not, but I feel like he wrestles most weeks. Is my point. Oof. He pretty much just put that title on the line pretty much nearly every time he fights. It's kind of mental how much he keeps doing it. Well, at least like any singles match he's been a part of, he seemingly defended this. There's also that goal in the match at SummerSlam. And then he's definitely had a, he's, I think he's definitely had a few tag matches. I can think of two off the top of my head. Well, it was him and Bad Bunny team to take on like, uh, Judgment Day. Two members of them. I, can't, I think when he was leading in tonight, champions in that triple threat match with JD. I'm not quite sure if JD was part of it. I think it was JD and Priest, I think. And then there was a... And then they, in the build-up to the eight-man gaunt, we had an eight-man uh, eight tag. If it was Bad Bunny... Uh, I can't remember who it was. Uh, Johnny Gargano. And somebody took on Judgment Day and Joe Coffey. Omos, that was it. Was it Omos? I'm sure it was Omos, yeah. But anyways. This is, of course, what they are fighting for. That beautiful United States Championship. Introducing the challenger. I am ready for this one, that is for sure. This one's going to be good. 
And you see how you're dragging up handing over that United States title for the last time. And will he see it again very, very soon? Nakamura wants it. Will he have it? Tony, let's find out, shall we? But I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this? Let's get to it, shall we? Ring that bell for the opener of SmackDown. Let's go. Oh, maybe maybe I was saying about oh, uh, Nakamura taking advantage of the mad dragon stuff. You know, he's just dodged a slap there straight off the bat. And let's put Nakamura in control of this match. Oh, we're talking about here, Dragon of Air. Nothing's going to keep him down long. Have to, like, disconnect his brain from his body. Jeez, and we've been learning that as of late this year, just this season in general. Like, even if you haven't seen anything with Ilya Dragunov before, and uh, all it took until this season, and now you know what he is all about. Dragon, I'm going for the cover. Kick out by Nakamura. It's going to be, oh, a crazy day to see you could double Ilya Dragunov. Is it Nakamura? I don't know. It could be. I guess we've got to find out. But I have a feeling if it is going to be the case, this is going to be no short match. So, buckle yourselves in for a long one, folks. And that guy drops the knee on the face. I'm going to drag and I'm going in for the cover. A bit of a cheeky cover there. A bit of a... Let me know, cheeky cover. Kind of like, I feel like cheeky cover, I feel like it's kind of like a roller, but, but that was kind of more of like a... Yeah, like a cocky one. Yeah, that works. Kick to the face by Dragunov though, he's back into it, and the sent onto the back. Nakamura rolling out of harm's way there. But he's trying to get, oh Dragunov jumps over. Close line, takes him down. Dragunov is all fired up in this one. Oh, he gets that shoulder block still. And then when he jumped over the third end corner, how he managed it. Other than to say, it's all your Dragunov mate. <laughs> takes more than that to stun him, I guess. I don't know. There we go, you're dragging that wrench on the chin. Of Nakamura. Man again, jeez. No remorse. No friendly, sportsman-like match this could have been. No, it's Nakamura. He's still being an asshole at the minute. And it's not... Uh, well, he hasn't given him championships yet, so... You've got a question. Is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. Could... Tonight be the difference. Finally getting a, a, a title in the winners, but I think it's been a while for Nakamura. I believe the last one was an intercontinental title. It's for Nakamura, I believe. Or was it a tag title? I can't quite remember. But anyway, oh, Dragon gets the slap to the face. These two men look at the trade blows now. You got the fired up. Loving the loving the pain. Dragon off. <laughs> uh, the King of Strong style. He went about the top, he already gone quickly trained for blows there, not even the regular kind of one, and Nakamura. Oh, I think he like, clocked a bit of a daze, dragging off there. Jeez, clearly possibly from a Kinshasa last week. Oh, dragging off back to his feet. Kicks in the leg. No, Nakamura gets him on the gaunt. Oh, no, dragging off. The, the drop too old. Jeez. I say taunt, it was more of a dragging off firing up the clothesline. Nakamura got a quick kick in there. The veteran instincts from Nakamura. Uh, not a veteran. <laughs> well, he kind of just got jumped out by Dragunov. Sometimes you can get out of the way, sometimes you can't. Just sometimes how it is. Dragunov did it very quickly. He just sent Nakamura into the barricade and I'll send him back into the ring. Referee just checking on both men. It looked like he was more with Dragunov to be fair. I'd more check on Dragon's mental state than his physical state, to be honest. Oh, jeez. Oh, because Dragonov's definitely one of those people that's mastered that kind of like, you know, like, your brain's the one that gives up first. I feel like Dragonov's one of the few people that it's the, it's the other way around. His body gives up before his man, mind can. Jeez, then he drops to the face. And Nakamura covers. One, two, kick out. Good match so far. Oh, Nakamura gets out of the way. Oh, no, Dragonov gets out of the way of that one. And Sekiri. Dragonov looking to do some big damage. 
Oh, looking for a H-bomb. That will do some big damage. Go on, drag it off, go into the cover. Interesting way to kind of get into it there, I guess, but two. Kick out by Nakamura. Still staying in this matchup. Not wanting to go out yet. They drag it on with a knee drop to the face. Don't want to get, but no, Nakamura gets out of the way that time. And Nakamura just taking it to drag it on, getting those forearms. Look for a combo. Nicely done by Nakamura. King of strong style. Working into a play there. No dragon off these counts that back on the chop down. Jeez, but no. Uh, oh, you guess this from the center. Oh, what a knee. Jeez, that stunned dragon off. But not for long. Dragon off. Sending Nakamura into the corner on a knee smash. Jeez, I wonder if Pete Dunn's watching this somewhere. Honestly, I have no idea. I could see it really see it going either way, to be honest. He's either loving this or he's not caring about it. The landslide. By Nakamura covers one, two, Dragon of Fires out. Yeah, that is an interesting style of cover, and I bet a good work on some men, but Dragon of, like I said, the fire burns deep. It, uh, it's almost like an immortal kind of everlasting fire, almost. So, like I said, there's a reason why he's called the Dragon, not only for his rage, but also the fire inside of him. Oof. Nakamura sizing him up. Knee smash takes him down. Nakamura. A relaxed handle. Eggs down Dragunov. Kicks the face. Down again. Oh, even more now. Just some disrespectful kicks to the face at this point. Tail you, Dragunov. I know Nakamura's looking for more. Jeez, and again. Keeps just faking us out with grabbing the head, and now he's just going after these kicks again. Jeez. The dragon off. And so this is going to piss off the mad dragon, that's for sure. He sends him back in. Oh, there's a cut on the face of dragon off. I think of all those kicks to the face. I'm, I'm going to assume. There's now, I guess, that knee drop right over the face. Jeez. And Nakamura sides in on Dragunov. Kinshasa! Toyo Dragunov. Going in for the cover. One, two. Kick out by Dragunov. Still got some fight left in him. The fire still burning. Nakamura now. Taking it to Dragunov. No. Dragunov. Elbows to the midsection. Oh, Torpedo Moscow gets countered by Nakamura. Oh, kicks the head by Dragunov. He's not going down. Oh, what a shot. Nakamura, he dominantly wants more of it. So Dragunov's just giving it to him. Jeez. Oh, Nakamura counters that one. But he just counted that one. He's now back and forth. So here we go. Dragunov. Jeez. Ooh. He's going to go out on top of this. I don't know. Dragunov knocks Ilya. Now you're back. Now Nakamura. Oh, Ilya. Oh, these two looking to go back to this yet again. Gee, who will come out on top? I have no idea. Oh, it's Dragunov this time. Oh, but it goes round Constantine special. By Dragunov to Nakamura. And Dragon he's not done. They're just dropping a knee on the face of Nakamura. And again, jeez. Oh, looking for a third and he gets it. I'm looking for a fourth and Nakamura gets out of the way. Oh, he's busted open two. Kinshasa by Nakamura. Quickly out of the gates there. Covers two. Kick out by Dragon off. Jeez. A fight in this man. Oh, here you can wherever that was supposed to be. Torpedo Moscow was a bit of a no, like a not much distance there covered. But was it enough? Kick out by Nakamura. Like I said, there wasn't much of a run up there. It was kind of more of a jump forward instead of a run and jump, you know what I mean? You can't quite go as far a long distance without the run up. Dragon off's that right there. Don't get as much power in it either. There's Dragon off. Get the 
Just smashing Nakamura's face off that turnbuckle. Jeez. Jeez. I mean, Nakamura wishing he didn't uh, enrage the Mad Dragon. There's one thing that the Mad Dragon hates. It's cowards. And Nakamura has proven to be cowardly. Like attacking oh yeah, backstage when he's not on it, when it's unexpected. And now bouncing Nakamura's face off the announce table. Billy Nakamura is getting what he deserves. And oh yeah, now looking for a no Nakamura. He's fired through. Oh, I thought that's not going to be a power on the outside, and that'll not be good for Nakamura. But jeez, oh Nakamura he gets that. No, will you? Jeez, jumping clothesline right in Nakamura there. Jeez, these two men fighting on this outside right now, but no, Ilya wants him back in the ring. Now he's looking for a knee smash of his own. Right to the face of Nakamura. Ilya trying to get the crowd behind him. So he's just got plans for Nakamura here. And just wrenching the head again of Nakamura, just torturing him now. Jeez. Smash and slamming him back down. Here we go, back up to the middle rope. Knee drop, no! Nakamura rolls away. Grabbing Ilya now. Smashing his face to the top buckle. Not quite the amount of combo that Ilya went for, though. Jeez, now just looking to choke him with his foot. That's why he didn't go for it. Jeez. Like, oh, and now look at the choke him again. Come on, ref, you need to stop this, man. You need to stop this. How are we doing this? Jeez, frankly, finally. Oh, here he is back to his feet, maybe not quite his lights out that chokes. Uh, but that was more Yoda talk there. And it's dragging up yet again. It's getting, oh, Nakamura brings him in for the cross arm bar. Oh, Dragunov, Dragunov, tap out. That would be, be a surprising way to wear Dragunov's title reign in his, his first off of the season for a submission. No, Dragunov, he gets out of it there. Jeez. And now a DDT. Jeez, drag it off. Oh, the sent on now. Oof. Drag it off. Got some fight left in him still, and he's dealing out the damage. Like he's doing right here with a power bomb. To Nakamura. Oh, and Ilya. He's looking for that torpedo Moscow. Really get it? He does! Tanaka Mora. But Ilya is not done. Ilya is not done. The H bomb. Tanaka Mora. Surely that's got to be it. Now he is going in for the cover. One, two, three. And still, your United States champion, Ilya Dragunov. Still, for that moment in time, it is going to be Ilya Dragunov taking on Pete Dunne at Survivor Series. And what a fight that is looking to be. And I am looking forward to it if it will happen. Obviously, a few weeks still to go yet. Here is your winner. Here is still the WWE United States Champion, Ilya Okay, still to come tonight. We have the next round of the gauntlet for the women's tag title match thing. We also have our promo from our women's champion, Tiffany Stratton. We also have in the main event, like we told last week, Gunther vs AJ Styles winner for the War Games match. And then also Omos's five minute challenge is up next. So let's get to it. And we know who the, the opponent was going to be before the match the past two weeks. Now we're back to kind of acting like an open, uh, it is an open challenge, but not having any sense in the clue of who in, who's going to turn up. Uh, except for, I guess, whoever knows that they're doing it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Giant. Yeah, I was gonna say Omos doesn't know. Hey, I'm, I don't have to worry about that backstage stuff. That's people backstage, and I just get to chill. I get to go. Oh, look at that suplex, man! Jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's like oh one two oh kick out. 
it's all I got to do. You know, you occasionally congratulate somebody, but you know. Yeah. Uh, Omos is out here. Still uh, reigning supreme in this. It's been going for a little bit now. Will it end tonight? Who knows? Let's find out, shall we? This is also a quest for people to get TV time, I guess. Yeah, maybe some people have been lacking on it. They can get it. I definitely said that's the same case for this man. That's not as much, as much screen time as he's probably hoped. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's had a pay per view match, if I'm not mistaken. So he hasn't, he's clearly not been doing nothing, but not an overwhelming amount to have done yet either. I was just thinking in that little bit what his match was. I can remember now. He was at SummerSlam in that uh, four-way tornado ladder match along with his tag team partner in the back over there, Nathan Frazier, by the Supersonic Duo, of course. Yeah, very unsuccessful. And now Axiom here tonight, looking to get his hands on Omos. Will they be able to? Let's find out, shall we? Well, we well, can get his hands on him. No, he, he might not. I don't know. Find out, I guess. Almost. Oh, Axiom! Getting the speed advantage. Jeez, Omos was not expecting that. <laughs> Axiom! Oh, just get sent down by Omos. Play Omos is having the strength advantage there. Jeez. No, a kick to their head. Axiom firing off Omos. He's Axiom getting the combo going. Jeez, the drop kick down. He's taking down Omos. He's just taking down MVP too. There are quite a ways as I do that. I don't know. Maybe tell MVP not to mess with this match. I think he should have just stayed on Omos. He's made, it seems clearly made a bit of an issue here. Omos now listening from the military press. Oh, Axiom slips down behind for a roll. Is that going to be it? Jeez. Oh, almost flips it back. One, two, three. Oh, clearly the way too much on the shoulders of Axiom there. And Omos walks away with the win. I think for a second there, Axiom had Omos on the ropes then. If it wasn't for Omos flipping back that roll up and just probably being too heavy for Axiom. I feel like we could have maybe had a possible win there, jeez. Oh, hold on a minute. The Luke Gallo is taking it to Ludwig Kaiser now. Carl Anderson on Giovanni Vinci. Of course, we're seeing AJ Styles versus his gun tonight. And the OC is taking it to Imperium. I don't know. Maybe AJ Styles feeling threatened from Gunter, especially the kind of mood he's in at the minute. Well, we chop anybody enough. Jeez, definitely has a strength for it. Oh, jeez, guys are in the box there, jeez. Can we get security out here, please? Yeah, let's deal with this, please. Jeez, oh, taking it to both men on the outside. This does not look fun at all. Jeez. We're not really getting much of a chance here to do anything. Just the OC just mauling them. Dude, that powerball by Carl Anderson. Where's security? Where's Gunter? Where's Styles? I guess Styles has got to be OC to do the day work, but I don't know why Gibberium's not with Gunter. And it's cost him here right now. Jeez, I don't know, maybe Gunter's having a bathroom break. I don't know. But jeez. Whatever the case is. It's not looking so hot now for Imperium. Gunter's kind of battle in the back of there as well. I think Vicious just hit that light. Jeez. Gallo's dealing with Kaiser in the front of the box there. Jeez. Anybody going to stop this? No, 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 please can we stop this? Luke Gallows has got a shovel. They're looking to like kill these people or bury them alive or something. I don't know. Just whacking him with a shovel. Jeez. And Gallo's setting him up. Jeez. To Kaiser. 
I don't care, jeez. Oh, jeez. The shovels of Kaiser. Jeez. Anyway, still to come tonight. We have a promo from Tiffany Strand. She's not going to be happy now after Kaiser. Anyways. Guns vs. Styles. I doubt we'll see appearing anymore on that matchup screen. It's not updated, I guess. And, uh, but up next, we have the next round of the gauntlet for that women's tag title contender championship match. Whatever you want to call it. Get out know, first. Well, the winners from last week, they advanced this week. Of course, I have to mention that this does give them a women's tag title shot. And of course, we still need to find out who the Raw tag team is. But like I said, I reckon they might wait until we find out who the women's champions are afterwards. I don't know. Could be possible, but it may not be Fee and JC. It is at this point being the champions, but it could be these two women. It's definitely possible they would have also had one win in this Gorn Lift, though only one team can at the minute. They knocked off Fabulous Fire last week, in, uh, being Sonia Deville and Carmella. Can they walk out with a win here tonight, too? Who knows? What are the winners of this match? Be their opponents. And the town. We town. You've got one of my favourite sayings for this. It's just because sometimes there's a little bit of a drag on between like entrances sometimes, like an entrance just hasn't quite finished. I'm like, oh, you know what? Some hotel. Let's hear what they have to say. Well, let's get ready for this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I mean, we were saying last week that uh, it was good to see Fabulous Fire and the way take on each other because neither team really got anywhere going in universe mode this season. And the way finally got their win. But this is another team that I feel like hasn't quite gotten that going properly in the season yet either. So uh, this could be a good opportunity for them to take on a team that, that's only just died. Like, like, I think they might have been their first win for the way, maybe. I could be wrong. So, you know, it's going to be one of those things, I guess, where uh, it's a good opportunity for the, the pie girls, whatever you want to call them, to get a win. But will they? We'll have to find out, I guess. Elbow to the face. It's getting caught by Candice LeRae. Was not expecting that. That's, uh, that. That should be a thing, though. It's getting kind of looking to end it early. I'm Candice Lurie. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I pulled off that voice first time. <laughs> but anyways. Candice Lurie escapes out of the, o escapes out of the octopus stre stretch. I'm going to say stretch then. What's, what's happening to me in this match? I have no idea. Talking in this match. I feel like Indy kind of feels a little left out here. Because probably like three of the smallest women, women in the division taking on possibly... Maybe, I'd maybe argue maybe the second tallest, maybe, after Raquel, I'd say. If Raquel's over on Raw, so indeed, I'd say he's the tallest woman on SmackDown. So, oof. And then, like, like, in terms of, like, the other smaller women, I feel like, what, the only other ones are, like, Zelina Vega, like, like, uh, the likes of her, who are also on Raw. <laughs> Vega versus Raquel Rodriguez, but that was the championship at one point. V's. It's an open challenge. Okay, that match, match, match got a lot of views. <laughs> uh, Alcatara gets it to India. Well, point is though, it's just kind of, I don't know, just pointing it out, I guess. So India, well, definitely does feel like the other one out a little bit here. And would that play the advantage of the way? I guess we'll find out. Because it is kind of like, I definitely argue at least none of them are powerhouses except for Indy. And the others are like, much more fast paced people. But I argue the Pi Girls or whatever you want to call them. Spitfire Warriors, I mean, they were called at one point, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's kind of just a kidding car, a fast, a faster and more agile than Candace is. But, you know, I'm sure Candace is, uh, is a bit more technical, I think. Out the, I think she's the most technical out of the four, I'd say. He's. 
you know, you should have to train from uh, Johnny Gargano. <laughs> he is worse than Pam Bauer, one of the most resilient superstars we've got here. Hasn't quite made his mark yet, necessarily either, though he's been doing an okay job. You know, Dragon Up shouts him out as some respect and said he wants to wrestle him again. So I feel like that is uh, just a, an achievement, a milestone on its own, saying that Dragon Up wants to reface you at some point, even though he's already done it before in a one on one match and in a gauntlet match where Dragon where Dragon Up and Gargano started out and they ended out. So Gargano he hasn't had too many matches, but I feel like in the ones he's had he's been stand out even if he's lost like all of them. I think the only matches one was a two on two match. Was it two on two match? Actually no, I think it might have been a four way. Whatever it was, it gave him the gave him and Chimas Champa the win to get on to the match night champions against yeah, pretty deadly. Very successful were they in that match. It was like Tomas Champa was unsuccessful last week at taking on Roman Reigns to get into that men's war games match. Obviously that one's still to come later tonight. In uh Guns vs AJ Styles. He's gonna be a good one. But the promise just last week that he was gonna win the match. Will that be the case? I don't know. Is it the Hartwell? Hammerlock, the, the Katana chance down, going for the cover. One, two, kick. Yeah, hopefully I can focus a bit more on this match now. He's going off on a tangent somewhere. But, you know, multitask, innit? Well done. Don't worry about it, crisis averted. No need, didn't need to sneeze. Poor did. Yeah, he did the out well. Jeez, oh, Paul Nelson reverse as the uh, plants. Katana a chance. If Katana got a chance to get out of this, yes, she does. Will she though? Kicks out. And tags in. Candice away. Jeez. What's Candice for? Oh, no. Katana gets out of the way of that one. In four on. Katana all kicks in eight. Don't look, what I'm looking for here. Spikes down Candice. Jeez. Goes in for the cover on Candice. One, two, or not even a two there. Candice gets out of it. It's supposed to be still fresh. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, Cade inside out, right? Oh, frog splash right to the back of Candice. We'll hold that four. Covers one, two, kick out. Because generally, I like tracking when everybody's been legal and then once we've had every combination. Everybody I make, I'm sure, has been legal and I'm pretty sure we've seen Cade versus India yet. But well, we haven't seen Kane vs Candice yet in this match. Will we though? Because I think Candice is looking to try and make it climb back to her team. Oh, he may oh Candice gets that elbow. Oh Candice! Poison Rana to Katana chance. Trying to get it out of the way. Suicide dive, but no, it takes out Indy Harwell instead. This is what Katana and Kaden need. A little bit of a misfire, a miscommunication between the way there. Katana's realized Indy's back up. Jeez, Dano's going through Indy. Get to Candice, but Candice is back on the advantage here on Katana. He's stomp right to the leg. Candice locking around. Biggie, she's looking to introduce Katana Chance to the wicked stepsister. I think I said that wrong. I think I said steps this to them, didn't I? Anyways, Candice locking in the submission now. Well, Katana Chance is how they won the last match. Will Katana chance? Will Katana get out of it? Yep. Never mind. That's how, they won the, that's how Candice and Indy won the last match was by that submission. Successful there. Those Katie Carter got back in. Well, the, the break it up. He yeah, hasn't been legal against Candice LeRae yet. Candice gets a drop kick. No, she doesn't. Turn up. Ooh. No, Candice. Ace burst in that turn buckle. Looking for her. Wasn't exposed. Katana now tags in Kenny Carter. We've had every combination, maybe. I'm at least I'm pretty sure. Kaden now. And we definitely had everybody in legal now. That's definite. Jeez, the sent on. Go oh, Indy. Trying to protect herself from Kaden. Kaden, alright, going in for the pin. This is what Kaden was trying to stop. A breaker from Indy Hartwell. And Kenneth LeRae. Rolling out of the ring. Let's grab a breather. Okay, then tagging back in Katana. Katana takes down Indy now. And Katana! Suicide died! Oh, Candice gets out the way. Hmm. A member of the way got out of the way. Anyways, 
Getting us away. Kicks to the midsection now. Getting in a bit more centre in the ring. Kicks that back. Candice looking to do the damage. She's all on her own in a minute. A little bit of a handicap match right now, but she's getting the snap there. Off the ropes. Indy's back up. We get the double axe handle on Katara there. It's Candice sees Indy and tags her back in. Indy now taking it to Katana Chance. Indy. It's a or a snap mare. Runs out the ropes in a boot. No, Katana gets out of the way. Gives him protection. Jeez, you just see how much Indy has to squat down. Jeez. But anyways, Katana Chance now kicks the back. I was actually just going to say, no, I just thought. Is Indy Harbour the tallest women's superstar on the, on, in the division on SmackDown? A tall Charlotte. Yeah, we've got to see that at some point, I guess. Charlotte versus Indy Hartwell. Maybe we'll see it at some point down the line. Don't be the neck break from Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell now. Go oh, this round. Reverse DDT. Indy Hartwell picks up Katana. Double cut. Indy trying to stop Katana and she does so. Katana has fought back out. Sending her back into the corner. Alright, we've definitely, definitely, definitely had every combination now. Jeez, the clothesline. Okay, I can do some damage to Indy Hartwell. But Indy says, uh uh, you didn't say the magic word. As Kenan gets out of there. And Indy now making it back to her corner. I look for a fake out, but it didn't work. It's Kader now taking it to Indy. Drop down. Leapfrog. Ducks into the arm, but Indy Hartwell holds, hangs on. Trying for a bit of another kind of bay and switch. Unsuccessful. Guitar, I mean, Kader saw it coming. Oh, now what's this? A wrist off. Oh, drag G's takes her down. Oh, good. I hate to say it, but I feel like Ken might actually have been close to Indy tight on that rope. Anyways. Oh, the knee smashed the face. It's alright. Uh, we don't judge on people's size. Judge on the impact of the move. And Kane has got a huge one there. One. Kick out. Oh, not kick out. Sorry. Kane has already broke it up. I just kind of instinct there by saying, oh, the, the pin went over. There's a kick out. Just happens sometimes. When you're on the fly, I get names wrong. I'm surprised I haven't got it done yet. I don't, actually, no, I have. I'm pretty sure I've called Caden Katana or Katana Caden at least once. I was kind of just say Katana chance instead of saying she broke out or something. Talking of breaking out of something, Indy Hartwell trying to like break out of the submission. Will she be able to though? Kind of looks like a reverse Indian deathlock a little bit. Indy gets out of the way. Oh, what a kick to their head. Jeez. Indy Hartwell now. Oh, Katana, sorry, Caden gets the crucifix there. Dodger get it wrong. Jeez, one. Two, kick out. Caden picking up Indy Hartwell, the discus forearm to the, 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 the midsection there. Indy, then Caden into the ropes there. We'll drop down. Reverse elbow to the face. Indy. I'm just starting to think about Indiana Jones' music. It's just playing in my head. Candice, double axe handle, cheese right to the end. Thomas carries some more drop. Candice Ray, basically trying to take a page out of her teammates' book with the powerhouse technique. Guess I see a drop kick. This match has been going on a while. It's good to see these two teams fight it out and show what they deserve to be the future. Women's Tag Team Champions. They've got to get through this corner. There's still teams to go yet. And they got to take on the champions. Could it be one of these two teams that take on the champion? I don't know. Boom. Dennis the Ray gets that wicked stepsister. Hits again. Caden's getting back to her feet. Candice. Oh, he dropped her hold to Caden Carter. Will she tap out? Will Kader tap out to the wicked, not the wicked steps, I don't know, but Katana breaks it up there, jeez. Kader fighting off Candice. Candice fighting off. Jeez, this match. 
Oof. Can't believe it's still going on, to be honest. It shows the grit, the determination, how much these two teams won this. They've been given their, their opportunity. They're showing out here tonight, and the crowd is loving it. Hope you people at home are loving it too. And the Outwell chucking her into the ring now. And the Outwell looking to put an end to Caden Kyer here. No, Caden gets out of the way. No, Indy drops the knee. Jeez. Indy drops the knee. So Drew rhymes. Dropping the elbows now. Saying that one down rhyme. Then Caden reversing that one. That also don't rhyme. He's sending her into the corner now. Got Indy firing her off. Oh. Bit of a bit of a battle hook and runner style situation. I don't know quite what. I think that's what that's called at least. Indy. Looking for that hammerlock DDT. Look at Indy's. As you can see, it's all, she's all out of it too. We're just barely throwing an arm over Caden Carr. One. Two. Shoot. I think Caden barely got a shot of that. I don't even know if I'm sure, to be honest. Jeez. In the art well. Ooh. Oh, now get that full Nelson. No. Caden, the jawbreaker. No, oh, Indy. Fire off. I think Caden was looking for no one of those submissions. Jeez. Indy. Fire off, Caden. Just trying it. He's sending Caden into the ropes now. Flapjack. Caden, what a height. Jeez. We're just talking about heights. Indy now taking it to Caden. Jeez. No Caden getting the hell out of there. Really hasn't done a good enough job now. In the art world, the full Nelson Rivers STO yet again. To Caden Carr, surely. Two. Three. Jeez. The way. Get that second match win in this gauntlet. Maybe looking to run the gauntlet. Oh, the way. Actually, I imagine they are. But jeez. Another win for them. That's no, two back to our back. Can they make it a third? I guess we'll find out next week. But, ooh, congratulations to them. Indy Harbour well, kind of sorry. They got a win each for their team, I guess. That's cool. Here are your winners. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. The way. I'm hearing now we're, we're probably had some technical difficulties. Do apologise for that in that match. But it seems like we're all good now. And hopefully we'll be uh, shenanigan free. I was going to say in general, that'd be nice. Speaking of shenanigans, AJ Styles gone does still to come tonight. But at first, we have a promo from Tiffany Stratton. A women's champion here on SmackDown. Haven't seen her since Fastlane. She's, hearing, she's here tonight. Maybe curious about what we're seeing next week. Uh, on Raw, Bailey vs. The Morgan for that women's championship. I know I'm interested. Of course, the Morgan's rematch. If they said title. After she what, had a match of payback. Mm. There's nothing quite in the very near future for this woman, the Tiff Tiffany Stratton, at the minute. But we know it's in at least possibly can be a somewhat little late future. Bailey vs. Tiffany Stratton one on one, of course, the women's champion versus the women's world champion. But it'll still be those two come Survivor Series. Who knows? But that's what it's booked as for the time being. There he is. Tiffany Shine out again. All those shots. And the paparazzi. Let's hear what Tiffany has to say, shall we? Don't worry, everyone. Because it's finally, once again, Tiffy time. I've been enjoying my time off. After I beat Becky Lynch, fair and square at Fastlane. Just like I said I would. So we don't have to hear her complain. About anymore. Oh, I lost to a wrestling manoeuvre. It's not fair. Literally being the female Drew McIntyre. Guess that's what happens when you were born over in the UK. Ugh. Anyways, focusing on the future instead of the past. Next week, Bailey defends her women's world title against Liv Morgan. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Because I just wanted to come out here and grey smack down with my presence and make their meaningless lives have a little bit of meaning. 
and let both Bailey and Liv know that it doesn't matter who will win next week because the winner of Survivor Series will still be the same. And her name is Tiffany Stratton. Now it's time for the main event. Gun to AJ Styles, one you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, since the announcement of it last week. Oh, this one's going to be a good and that is for sure. And I expect nothing less from this match. Of course, the winner will get that spot in the War Games match as well. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds. We see nobody accompanying Gunter. Of course, Kaiser and Vince want to get checked out backstage. So, Gunter's having to do this one alone here tonight. No motivation like everybody's been getting at the minute because everybody knows this five series coming around the corner and they want as much screen time as they can and get that uh, any kind of in the good braces on. So, uh, then I guess some people just really want to sign up to work. For that reason, you know, like I said, it's the uh, I was talking about the, the, the crossroads and the junctions and the roads to WrestleMania. You know, and I was right, we are kind of at that point where it's like we're not on the road to WrestleMania yet, but we're coming up to the junction. The junction, obviously, at Rumble, but at the start of the road, it's coming up to the junction. You know what I mean? I feel like that. So people kind of want to get onto this road while they can. Or some people do it at different points, but everybody will be queuing up at that junction at Royal Rumble. Well, this is definitely a way to try and get the get some reason behind you to get a pick at the rumble, that's for sure. And his opponent representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Of course, as Alicia Taylor mentions. Accompanied by the OC, all three members, Mi Chin, Mia Yin, Luke Gallo, the big LG, and uh, Machine Gun Carl Anderson. All accompanying the phenomenal AJ Styles. It does feel like AJ might have the advantage in this match now. After all that, it still would have been like when he managed down to two, I guess, but I don't know. But anyways... OC how accompanying AJ Styles ready for this main event and it's definitely befitting of a main event. It's befitting of a pay-per-view that match this. We'll walk out away with the win and get into that match with War Games alongside Roman Reigns to take on Punk and Randy Orson. Of course the four of the men will be decided on a later date. But for now we're worrying about the next spot. The SmackDown men's one. It was good to get that shotgun drop kick on AJ Styles. Dropping the knee. Gunter, he's looking to hit hard on AJ Styles, but AJ Styles, nope, Gunter carries that one, looking for a back suplex, and he does it. Gunter looking to do the damage early on to AJ Styles, maybe get a little bit of revenge for Imperium breaking the face. Jeez, and now just tossing AJ Styles. And me, Chid, not taking too kindly to the way this is started for AJ Styles, jeez. And blame him And the chop locks of Gunter, though, I'm not... Uh, uh, Agreeing and condoning getting involved in the match. He's just saying he's got the big brains by attacking Imperium, I guess. I don't know, but maybe not the big brains by starting off a strike fest with the ring general, Gunter. Jeez, what a slap. Jeez. Jeez, you can see the much heavier strikes from Gunter there. Jeez. That's one. That one's rocked Gunter. He's not too happy about that one. And AJ would even just. Guessing him on at that point. Oh, AJ. Now, I'm guessing that fairly. Gunter's been a bit dazed a little bit. He's from that blood that's driven from his face. Jeez. AJ must have caught him hard at one point. He did, and then he asked for him for more. Well, that's what AJ wanted to do stuff to Gunter. That's kind of what I meant. Anyway, he's got to get out of the way of that one. Fairly Gunter shaking off whatever cobweb just happened for a few seconds. It happens to all of us, even the greats like Gunter. It's happened to AJ Styles, I'm sure. Jeez, the alley -oop. Oh, boom. AJ Styles gets out of the way, though. Jeez. Oh, Gunter rides the referee. No, Gunter saw that one coming. 
and just slams down AJ Styles with a Borazine following over the meat drop thing. Yeah, stomping away now. He's just taking it to AJ Styles. No Gunter dodges out of the way there. Gunter's pissed. Sure. He's going to chop AJ Styles. Jeez. I'm dropping another knee. But anyway, I'm trying to uh, re-gift the favour. Re-gift the busted openness. Re-gift re -gi re the cuts. That's, that's it. Kind of a weird thing to re-gift. But I don't know. AJ Styles now. Bray Buster drops Gunter on his head. He's now the DDT to Gunter. AJ Styles controlling this part of the match here. A knee smash right to the cover of the face of Gunter. Glee trying to open it up more. It dazed him a little bit earlier. Maybe it's smart from AJ Styles to focus on it. And trying to look to take some wind out of his lungs. Jeez, there's the guillotine over that bottom rope. Jeez, there's a reason why it's called a guillotine. Because it will do nearly the actual guillotine. Because <laughs> um, it kind of separates you from your body a little bit. Not, instead of being completely. And, you know, it is, it is Styles with a knee drop of his own now. Don't relax on over there. Gunter gets out of the way. Oh, and that's giving Gunter the opportunity for a power bomb. To AJ Styles. Covers one, two. Kick out AJ Styles. Pushes Gunter away there. But geez, the blood pouring down that head of Gunter now. Gunter in control right now. Maybe not for long. Oh, Gunter. Yeah, but he saw it. But oh no. Now wrench at the arm of AJ Styles. No, AJ gets a shot to the midsection and again. Down a third. And AJ Styles now rolling the calf crusher. Oh, that's that's an odd mistake for AJ Styles to make that rope break. He's not too happy about that. Close lines down, Gunter now. AJ Styles just brushing off his mistake earlier by just being absolutely the cocky. Kind of guy he is right now. I don't like it, but it's the way he is right now, I guess. Jeez. Gunter finally backed his feet. I think AJ Styles was happy winning this. And a count out victory. Clearly, Gunter's not happy about losing or looking for that loss. And AJ Styles now. Jeez, the neck breaker. Taking down Gunter goes for the cover. One, two. Kick out by Gunter. Jeez. AJL gets out of there. He doesn't want Gunter right now. AJ taking a breather. Getting behind the OC now. AJ suddenly has bigger brains than Gunter. He's going to gonna take that down lightly. No, he's not. Jeez, what a chop. Jeez. Jeez. AJ Styles, how you not drop down from that? Jeez, don't go on that fire and black now. Gunter sending Styles back into the ring. I'll be able to size it up between Gunter and then the big LG. I'm just, put, just pushing Carl Anderson's away, kind of. Just with his presence, I guess. I don't know, but you know what I mean. You saw what happened. Jump, no. AJ Styles gets out of the way. Pip toss. AJ look to take advantage of Gunter being distracted by the OC. AJ Styles look for the Styles clash to Gunter. Is that going to be it? One, two, kick out by Gunter. Gunter still staying in this matchup. And AJ, no hesitation on that. He gets the knee drop on Gunter. What Styles looking to do here? Gunter counts whatever it was. AJ Styles just blasts into the corner and Gunter, he's not done. A AJ, but AJ counts that one. No, AJ wouldn't have done that. Gunter was not like Rogge. Big boot down. But yet again, the OC distracting Gunter. And Gunter, he saw that one coming. What's Gunter looking for here? He's going in the position. Snake eyes! Jeez, and now dropping the knee on AJ Styles' face right there. Jeez. Gunter. Just look at the toss AJ Styles across the ring. But jeez, Gunter. He's losing steam. 
gets the shoulder over AJ Styles. Man, just one, two, kick out by Styles. Gunter back to his feet. Oh, for the blood is dripping down there. That's Gunter's too. Jeez. Look at Gunter, man. He's a mess. Absolute mess. But he's still fighting. Gotta give him the pr the props. But that's the kind of guy you need in war games. Gets busted open, but still fighting. Jeez, Gunter. No stars gets out of the way. Arm drag takes down Gunter quickly there. Again, that speed advantage from Styles over Gunter. Oh, Gunter gets out of the way, that one. First time the charm for him, I guess. Oh, and Gunter looking for a pop 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 power bomb. But doesn't quite get that kind of pink cover he likes to quite quickly after. Maybe that hesitation might do him. In, and it probably has done there. AJ Styles kicks out of that power bomb there. Jeez. Going to take him to Styles now. Jeez. Oh, Styles, he's not done. And then Gunter into the ropes. Drop down. Drop down again. Oh, it sent Gunter over the ropes there. Oh. And AJ Styles laughing it up. Who shouldn't stop in? He got that shot in quick, though. He thought he, 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 he gained the. I was trying to think of a word. I don't know, something. But, anyways, well, he did it. It, it lured him in. Lured him in. There we go. That's the word. I was going to get that slammed down. It took so long that Gunter got back. Got the advantage back by the time I came up with the word. Jeez. Uh, he's going to take it to AJ Styles now. Looking for Oh, close. I know. AJ Styles, the German. Oh, Gunter holding his head. That's not good. Oh, Gunter back to his feet so quickly. AJ Styles. Moonsault reverse DDT. That's getting down Gunter. AJ's not done, though. From the top right, Frog Splash. To Gunter covers. One, two. Kick out by Gunter. Jeez. Look at that blood all over this mat. Jeez, AJ styles the knee drop. Looking to run the ropes again for another knee drop. No, Gunter gets out the way. Gunter drop kick. Oof. Gunter, oh, jeez, been distracted by me a year. This isn't good. The OC keep getting involved. Charles Robinson needs. To deal with them, it's going to cost Gunter at one point or another. AJ Styles, oh, he gets the roll. Maybe this might be the up the point. One, two, three. Oh, on it has done. Jeez, I told you, Charles, you need to deal with them. Let's go and give an AJ Styles the win here tonight. Shocking, shocking display. Also, I'm going to have to do this uh, victory announcement because Alicia Taylor's gone home. So I'm going to have to do it. Uh, are we ready for this? And there you go, you said the win. And here's your winner. <laughs> hey, Jay Styles. Got the foot on a little bit. Anyways, I felt that was decent enough. AJ celebrating with the OC here. Annoyed how he won this match, I am. Yeah, again, talking like Yoda. Anyways, that's him being added to the War Games match. Thanks for watching SmackDown. Hopefully I'll see you for Raw.